First things first, if you wish to use Evernote flags, like I'll show in this video, you have to order your tasks by relevance. With that out of the way, let's move to the how, the why, and after that, I'll show you some examples. I only add flags to tasks without due date. This is not a special rule or anything like that. It's just my system. I do this when I want to keep an eye on that task. Adding the flag will bring them closer to the top of the list. I'll still have the, the ones with the closer due date on the top of the list. I explained this in a recent video. You'll find a link in the description below. Today, my goal is to share some examples to inspire you, to help you create your own system. I was invited to a project that will start in the last quarter of this year. I'm still not sure if I will accept that invitation. I have to think about it. And I was not given a due date to reply to that. Of course, I want to reply as soon as possible. But again, I have to think about it. And when this happens, this is what I do. I create a note in this case with the name of the project and I start writing everything that comes to my mind. Questions that I may have, ideas, thoughts, anything. It's like a brainstorming session with myself. And there's no order, there's no organization. I'm just writing down things. In the past, I would drag this note to the shortcuts area to keep an eye on it. Not anymore. The first thing of the note is a task. Reply to person X. If we go to the tasks widget, you notice one thing I mentioned on one of my last videos about tasks. I have here now reply to person X next to the name of the project. So, I know what it is. I have context. There's a hashtag that we Evernote experts use. I mean, I always forget to use it. <laughs> so to build this habit, I'm using Evernote. You guessed it. I created a task. Remember to use the hashtag. There is no due date and there is a flag. I'm trying to keep this flagged tasks around three to five. Otherwise, my system will not be efficient. Imagine 10, 15, even eight is a lot. And five is not a magical number. It's just a number that I choose because I can see the tasks there. I, I, I can deal with five tasks. This is inspired by the work in progress limit from Agile. It's a motivation to complete tasks I'm using the air quote here because complete in this case can be just remove the flag. Maybe that task now has a due date and I can remove the flag. Again, this is my system. It's the way I'm, I'm working with flags. I didn't know if five was a good number, but it looks like it is. It's working. I'm constantly keeping the task, the flag tasks around three to five. I'll talk more about this along the video. Yes, another project. This one is in progress. The note is quite similar to the one I showed in my last video. I have the project description and I have tasks and some people assign it to those tasks. The problem here is that the schedule is being revealed and we don't have the next due date anymore. So what I did, I removed the date, of course, but I added a flag to the next due date. This will help me keep an eye on that project. I'll always have it in front of me because the flag will make the task be very close to the next tasks I'm working on. Say I'm starting a meeting with the team or part of the team, or I'm in a call with one person or more, I can ask them, what about the project? Are we still doing this? So it's a constant reminder that that project is still is alive, or maybe not. <laughs> Before we talk about the next example, I'd like to thank the new members. If what I do here is helpful, if you wish to support the channel, please consider becoming a member. Let's keep moving.
I have to update a document. They told me I should use an app, a phone app, and take a picture. I tried that, that didn't work. I called them back. We tried it again and again, and there's clearly a bug here. The support told me the only option was to go to the bank and bring the document. This is not a time-sensitive document. I don't have to go to the bank like yesterday to fix this. The flag helps me remember that I still have to do this. Well, next week I'll have to go to the bank to discuss other things with my account manager and I have already created a note with the points I have to discuss with him. Of course, I linked that note to the calendar entry and as a final touch, I moved that task from the default task note to the note where I'm taking notes of the topics I want to discuss with the manager. I'm really enjoying my tasks challenge. It's pushing me to the limits. In some situations, I'm even questioning myself if I should be using a filtered notes widget or a task, but that's okay. We have to always remember that Evernote is just a tool. If we want to be really productive, we need a system. For example, in the case of flags, if we add flags to many tags as a way to prioritize some tags or to, I don't know, create a second reminder, depending on the number of tasks with flags, we may end up making things worse. A system will fix this. You don't have to use the one I showed you on this video, but you have to have a system. And of course, I have another video for you. This is another system to inspire you to create your own system. See you soon. I only add tasks to flags, not tasks. <laughs>